in this video, I'm going to show you how to create clickable links uh, on Google Slides for your students that take you directly to Seesaw Activities, which is amazing. This update really makes things just super fantastic, super easy and um, direct for students and parents and teachers in your classroom. So with heading back to uh, lockdown and online learning, um, Previously, you, there was no way to link students to a particular activity. You would have to send them, um, show photos or screenshots to then take it to the Seesaw um, activity uh, light bulb and then students would be able to access activities from there. Now with the update, you can actually click and have direct links to student activities for them to add their response straight away without having to navigate through the light bulb or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if we pop over to Seesaw and your Seesaw classroom, you would have your activities down here for them to do. This is a practice class that I have and use for modeling and for videos and things like that. So you would create your activity, find your activity that you'd want to do, and you would um, assign it to the class so that it appears here. We can click on it and check that it's good. Yep, this is what I would like them to do. Down here under the three dots, there's going to be a new addition which says get student link. So this is the one that you want to use. It is a game changer. You're going to click on copy. It's then going to copy the activity link. So on your Google slide deck or in your post or in your announcement or in your Zoom session or Google Meet or whatever you are doing and you say, yo guys, I want you to do this activity. You're going to then link it into them to share it with them. You're gonna click apply. And now I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if I click on present and I'm presenting this to my students, I want them to see this part. All I have to do is click on the link it will then take me directly to the link within Seesaw. It takes a little bit of time to get to that point because there's so many portals it's got to go through, but then it's going to take me here straight to the activity and all students need to do is click on add response, choose their name and then they're off and they can do the activity. It's so amazingly easy to be able to get them to one place rather than going, go here, go here, screenshot, screenshot. Um, and all students can do is just exit out of that and it will take them back to their mode afterwards. So let me just close that. Going to exit out of this one here. Let's just show you that again. So this is a second example. I'm gonna to come to Seesaw. I'm going to scroll to my activity, three dots, get student link, copy that. This is what I want. This is the link that I want. Come back to where you want to post it or share it. Link, paste it in, apply. I can test it as well. So I'm actually gonna click this right now. It's gonna open it up, take me straight there to the place that I want. And it should be the activity right there. Amazing. All students need to do is click on add response and they are good to go. This is so helpful, especially for creating choice boards, activities or links and different parts that you want to hyperlink to each other with Seesaw activities. Um, so fantastic. So definitely go and check that out and utilize that where you can.